Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakai, Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this lesson. In this lesson, we're going into reading wards off demons. Okay? Reading the scriptures wards off demons, man. And that is very, very, very true. Okay? Now, my experience in this truth going on 16 years, something like that, roundabout. Um, not saying that to brag, but just the experience of the up and downs. Okay? The ups and downs in this truth you go through. You know, sometimes you are on fire with reading and other times not so much. OK, maybe you're going through something, maybe you distracted, whatever, you know, uh, but it happens and it's truth. OK, you're not always on point reading 24 seven every day. Nah. Now, when you first get into truth, you so on fire because it's fresh and it's new. OK, but as the scriptures say, you know, you got to eat that roll. And it's sweet at first, okay, but then when you digest it, it becomes bitter, okay, and you have to adjust to that bitter. I'll just say that. <laughs> it ain't no joke, man, the things you go through this truth. But we know we got to suffer, you know, with Yahweh Shai, okay, to be glorified with Yahweh Shai. But the point I'm saying here is that it's like night and day when you're reading and when you're not reading on point, okay? You can feel it in your spirit, man, okay? Is real. All right. So let's read it again. Revelation chapter one, verse three. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Right. And the time is definitely at hand right now. OK. We are in the last leg of the Babylonian Empire. OK. Babylon the Great. OK. We are in the last days, man. And when it says bless, it's because when you read in sincerity and faith and you believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, there's a spirit that's supping that comes with it, man. And it comforts you. Okay, it zones you in, man. Okay, your spirit in. Okay, and we need that considering, like it says at the end of this verse, for the time is at hand. Okay, so we need to get better. Each individual have to be more structured daily with their reading and be more disciplined. Because you need it because these demons ain't playing, man. And they come in harder and harder because they know their time is up. Okay, let's go to John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profit nothing. Okay, now when you are not reading uh, consistently, okay, and being more disciplined, okay, your spirit gets quickened less. Okay, and then by default, what is that? You're more occupied in the flesh. And the flesh don't profit nothing in the spirit. Okay, the flesh keeps you distracted, keeps you low. Okay, keeps you in bullshit. I just said it. it keeps you in bullshit. Okay, all right, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Our flesh is weak. Okay, so it says, the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. And they are life. So when you read, you're blessed because you're able to receive the spirit and the words of life. OK, the water. OK, to enter into you, to feed you. OK, so that you're not dry when you know the demons is looking for dry places to dwell. OK, to mess with your head. OK, have you, you know, have you over there doing that? Have you thinking this all over the place? Okay, so the word is water. It's living waters. Okay, like a thirsty traveler, man. When you're not reading like you're supposed to, you feel dry, you feel thirsty. Okay, when you get to that book, not just the audio, but actually reading a hard copy. Man, you read a couple chapters, you'd be like, oh, you feel it. Okay, because the words are spirit and they are life. Okay. Blessed is he that readeth. Okay, the time is at hand. So we need more of that water, especially now in this time. Okay. 
Let's go to John chapter 5. Let's start at verse 39. Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. Right, man, of Yahweh Shai. Once again, going back to Yahweh Shai. Okay. Here at GMS, we're going to continue, okay, to push Yahweh Shai. Okay, the Savior, man. He's the one that's coming. He's the one, if you don't honor, you don't honor the Father. He's the one who, if you don't testify of, you know, and confess before man, and you deny him, he's going to deny you before the Father, Yahweh. So you can't play with Yahweh Shai. You cannot play with Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? To all you Israelites out there, you cannot play with Yahweh Shai. You're asking for a death sentence. You're asking to be tortured. Okay? Kiss the son, lest he be angry. You can read that in Psalms chapter 2. All right? Let's read verse 40 again. And you will not come to me that you might have life. I receive not honor from man, but I know that you have not the love of a Yahweh in you. Right, man. So this is Yahweh Shah talking, telling them you don't want to come through me. Life is in me. OK, so imagine him here today. OK, we know he's physically not here, but he's here in spirit. So but his men are here. So he is going to be speaking the same things through his man. Okay, the man of GMS. This is how we speak. We're telling you it's only through him. He's saying here, you don't want to come through me? Okay, talking to a hard-headed, stiff-necked Jake. Okay, the wicked Pharisees, the unbelievers, okay, who focus on the law and try to act like Yahweh Shai was in the way. Okay, we're not going to do that here. Okay, let's go to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7. Then said, I lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God, O Yahweh. Okay, in the volume of the book. So when you read, man, Old Testament, New Testament, the volume of the book, you can see, man. Okay, if you have understanding, if you have eyes to see, you can see. Okay, you can see that Yahweh Shai is the one that was split in the sea with Moses that was there, okay, that assisted Moses, okay, that came down, all right, and made the side of the Israelites light through the split sea and made the Pharaoh and the Egyptians dark so they couldn't see. If you had understanding, you know Yahweh Shai was involved in that, if you have eyes to see, okay. Once again, blessed is he that readeth, okay, if you read with understanding, okay, because a lot of people can read, but they don't get it because it's a mystery. So your eyes have to be open, okay? Your how about Shema Shai has to open your eyes, period, okay? Then you are blessed as you read, okay, versus reading in darkness, okay? Let's go to 1 Timothy chapter 4. Let's start at verse 13. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Right. Yahweh Shai is not here yet. So till he comes, we have to be more disciplined. OK, and give more attendance to reading so that we would be blessed. OK, so we can get the living waters and not be around here dry and thirsty. OK, trying to figure out what's going on, man. OK, it gives you light when you read. It gives you light. OK, it sets your mind back where it needs to be if you're distracted by something that day or that week or whatever, that month. OK, because the reality is we are surrounded by man. I mean, epic distractions, man. OK, at a very, very epic proportion. OK, so to balance that out, you have to read more because we are getting suffocated with distractions all the time. Those are facts. Okay. Verse 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Right. The measure that the Lord gave you, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Verse 15. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. Right. 
Okay. Another thing, when you're reading a lot and reading more and giving that, you know, that reasonable attendance, you meditate a lot about more spiritual things, heavenly things versus meditating about bullshit. Okay. Things with no profit, fleshly things. Okay. Verse 16, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Right, man. Okay. That light on the rooftop. Okay. So that Jake can hear the elect of Jake, the sincere Jake, and the ones also that can hear who are not going to listen. That's going to be marked for death. Okay. So a quick lesson to understand that we have to give more attendance to reading, understanding that it's getting darker and darker in this place, man. Okay. So we need more light to see more because it's getting darker around us. Okay. Period, man. All right. Now, the devil told me it was the other day, you know, move forth stronger. And you will see the more you read, the better you will feel. It is night and day when you are consistent with reading versus not consistent. Okay. It is night and day. And you want to hold on to that feeling of being more consistent as much as possible. Okay. Even though at times it gets hard because you're dealing with a lot of different things. Okay. So with that, I hope you edified. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yahweh, that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.